My name is Kleena Timoney. I grew up in Donegal and I'm now living in Dublin. I did my BA in Visual Arts Practice in IADT in Dublin, graduated in 2015 and from there um, I ended up doing an MFA at the Slade School of Fine Art in London and I graduated in 2020. So I never thought I was going to be a visual artist. I, I genuinely got into it through the encouragement of like other people down the years. And you know, I think there were a lot of people who were skeptical as well. Uh, but uh, I was very lucky to be able to go and I did a portfolio course. I went on then to do an undergraduate. It's just, it's amazing going to art college. You get to meet like just the most open and amazing people who will challenge you and like push your thinking and and, sh and show you things and you learn. And then um, it became more apparent that like maybe it's something that I could do. I ended up graduating and I was like, I'm gonna give it a go. It's the learning from others that um, has developed my practice. Um, and then that was why I wanted to do a master's as well as I felt like, okay, I'm, I know I kind of, I know what I want to what I want to research or I know what I want to make work about but I don't know how to talk about it I don't know um, I just don't have that those tools to maybe express that or say that or whatever and then you go and <laughs> again it's just like more conversations and yeah that's what it's all about it's um learning from one another and and then like that's that's what I think has kind of develop my practice is being open to like uh, well other people um, and having fun with it. Over the last like number of years my work has been about revealing kind of hidden forces or intensities within spaces. So I've been taking like specific spaces such as dance floors or back roads or crossroads in rural Ireland and reflecting on the like, rhythms that are there and trying to amplify and reveal all the hidden connections that exist within them. This work has been kind of percolating in my mind for years but um, in 2020 during the lockdowns. I was back living on the farm that I grew up in, in Donegal. The farm isn't in operation as a farm like it was before. Where there had been cattle and sheep, there are no animals anymore, no, no farm animals in that kind of sense. So um, the farm has changed in its function from this kind of stereotypical small farm cattle and sheep and now there's this absence of those animals and the activities that were happening there so I was um, spending time in this space and because of the absence of the animals there was this space for thinking um, and I started to kind of enchant it in some kind of way um, thinking about what had existed and the things that had existed and what was happening there right now and what would potentially or could potentially exist or happen in that space um, there was still the patterns and footprints and yeah all these patterns from the animals activity their hair um, their dwellings were still had these accumulations of their presence in them and then there was remnants of human activity and and folklore and this structure and these kind of edges everywhere and so the farm as a zone became really what i wanted to make work about but uh, it was about the edges of things the breaking down of edges and absolutes of things it 
led the kind of materiality of the work and the forms and so on, this kind of idea of, of, of an edge or a boundary and like challenging that. It's about memory and um, memory that's personal and memory that's collective and inherited. It's about access and like trespass zones and ownership and breaking things down. And wildness has become something that I'm really trying to unpack a lot and in, in not just this work but a lot of my work is like how it's contained, what it even means and connecting that to like us and other ecologies. A lot of the way that the stuff is being made is actually how the structures, the architecture of the sheds came together. Um, like my dad built them and they are very, um, they are layerings and layerings of kind of these like um, throwaway things that like are then stacked up together. Um, and like I think my way of making is actually really informed by like his way of making things too. The materials that I'm using are, I've, I have a metal that I've been welding, I'm kind of, um, I've like corrugated metal that is very um, of the kind of farm. I have um, rebar, like steel rebar, archetypal type of materials of, of the farm. And I'm using like aggregates and cement and, and kind of making these like mixtures, these slurries. And then I'll just kind of intuit, intuitively find m matter that can kind of prop those things up. I made this slurry and then, and then there was textiles and, and I had these duvets and I was kind of like dipping them in. They were very flesh-like. Um, and that's, yeah, something I'm trying to kind of capture is, as well is like bodies and beings and becomings of bodies and the corporeal and like connecting all these like outside forces with like very inner inner kind of um, feelings and sensations and stuff and I, again it's kind of like about permanencies of things or like the ephemerality against like the permanency of certain things.